Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Challenge Runs. My name is Aiken and this is the first episode of a new series where I'm going to spotlight each of the animals. So it's going to be Animal Challenge Runs. We're starting with the easiest and we're then gradually going for more and more difficult ones. And we're starting with the bears, uh, the absolute S tier predator on all of uh, the animals. Their only disadvantage is they eat a lot. but yeah that can be circumvented if you are doing it right so um i wanted to do three things in this video start uh, number one with uh, the builds uh, then number two go through a easy combat or an easier a normal combat that you would encounter in the end game and then uh, really test them with a hard combat so let's jump right into it shall we for starters uh, the bears are incredibly sturdy on level 14 you can see they are netting almost 2700 hit points and that's not even with um, more increased constitution so there are ways to even increase uh, that further in terms of build animals generally don't get a lot of choices their equipment is relatively straightforward they have one equipment slot and then the rest is in term uh, is in their build uh, step wise the distribution is clear Good movement, 15 uh, willpower at least, rest goes into critical strike, so that's relatively straightforward. I uh, decided to go with infused color because they do have s almost 700 constitution, which means they will heal for a lot, 10% of their hit points, which is 300 healing per uh, per round, just on top of all of the other healing. So my, in my opinion, the best choice for bears. Then, in terms of actual skilling, I went with Intimidating Growl, uh, which um, applies fragility and on top of that forces uh, the enemy to engage you, um, as opposed to Cozy Pelt, which is more camp uh, or downtime um, option. I went with King of the Mountain, where we're uh, getting galvanization when we're starting the metal, uh, battle in a mountain. I went with Feral Vitality, where we're ignoring all forms of guard with our attacks of opportunity. And finally Enraged, uh, which the moment that anyone is engaged with us, uh, they cannot move anymore. So no running away from the bears. We're running a six bear team together with just kind of a steering wheel, so to speak. The Beastmaster here is very much underleveled, level 10. And their only job is really to let the uh, bears do all of uh, the work. So that's the setup for today. Uh, let's jump into it and uh, see how they are doing in a normal fight. Good, let's go. We got the jump on a couple of bears and what better way than bears versus bears, right? So that'll be a swift but equally fun encounter uh, with bears what i really like about them is they are just an enormous force to be reckoned with once they are in the front line nothing can really uh, stop them so how about we're doing a very solid front to back fight one two three four five six okay fantastic good here we go Moving up, uh, blocking this passage, and we're going to apply fragility. And the nice part about polar bears in particular is every single attack gives them rage. So over the period of time, their damage will just massively increase. increase. We're already at six stacks. Um, this guy is immobile, but we can continue to apply fragility. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. A couple of nice crits. But since fragility is already applied, we can come in and look at that. Like. 340 and he hasn't even stacked uh, rage so far just because we did the surround buff uh, 
of course they can do the same the reason why I taunted uh, him off is to make sure that this white bear is not getting surrounded as well and we do have a decent uh, crit chance on uh, these guys we're currently rocking 65% which is not bad for an animal that doesn't have any other buffs we got that uh, via food and the rogue path or the scoundrel path because we're running a wanted setup going to surround this guy and yeah you can see we're almost taking no damage And mind you, these enemies are level 12, I think. Yeah, so level 12 bears themselves. Very, very uh, strong enemies. Well, not that strong, but you know what I mean. Crit for 700. Wow. Very good. And I think, given that it's already galvani uh, galvanizing, we're going to see some fleeing soon. Unfortunately, animals can't interact with objects. The little flowers here that you can see that uh, would heal would be the perfect addition to them. So what we're trying to do is just dealing as much damage as we, uh, as we can. This guy here is at 8 stacks of rage. Phenomenal. You can uh, see just how the damage builds up. And in a longer fight, I uh, do have uh, one with a single polar bear, uh, which took a little bit longer. In a longer fight, these guys are just absolutely wrecking it. Let's take this here as an example. Fragility. And we're at 10 sticks of rage. Yeah, that's a crit of 500. And we're now at 14 sticks of rage. Plus, he's healing all by himself. Enemy goes into Berserk. <coughs> we're. <coughs> switching enemies in and uh, our bears in and out that's an another neat little trick at the front line that you can do and that's already it i mean quick and quite painful for uh, the enemy so you can expect crits of up to 500 and the polar bears really didn't take a lot of damage the front line due to the collar and uh, the ranger standing there wasn't really taking any damage and in a kind of mixed setup what you can do is you can uh, very much combine that with the spearman for instance all right so now that that is gone uh, let's go for a little bit uh, more challenging fight for instance captain matrix here we got the jump on him and that'll be a completely different ball game level 14 enemies very much maxed out equipment let's see how well we're doing against these got a healing potion uh, portion there and when dealing with bears what i like to do is build a really solid front line these little corridors oftentimes start to wear them down Use the one with the highest hit points and I can tell you what, instead of going for the defender, let's go for the captain himself. Oh my lord, two hits and he's almost down. I should have used Intimidating Growl.
Good, we're supporting each other here. Uh, intimidating growl on the phalanx. Yeah, it's okay. Not perfect, but okay. Bear takes more hits. But is barely injured. So, we're going to need to deal with three rounds of reinforcements, which is going to be a long battle. So, I would want to put up a defense line here and one over here. Okay, fabulous. These guys are not having... They are not having retaliatory attacks, which is good. Let's engage and we're good. No, they just have protection. We're going for the weaker targets to begin with, such as the lieutenant who for sure would want to hit multiples of our uh, our bears and I need to be careful with our valor points don't want to spend too much so we're going to keep it mild now bears really shine just due to their stats And that's what typically makes them uh, so threatening. Even well-armored foes like 50% foot soldier here. This guy comes in with almost a, a thousand hit points, but the bear just doesn't care. Yeah, these guys here have measured respawns. Got to be careful, not just attacking into them. And the Phalanx soldiers we need to be careful as well because they are the ones uh, that are typically that are typically going to apply destabilization and other nasty debuffs. He's still debuffed, so we're taking advantage of this. Good, our front line is standing strong. I think these two here are fine for now. So how about hitting this lieutenant? That's a good idea. And... That might be at least one attack, right? Oh, boy. 600. Holy. Good. Thanks to the Beastmaster trade, every single bear received some healing. And yeah, the front line here has literally taken zero damage. Might need to fall back, but we're going to see about that in a second. I want to get to the damage dealers. And this here might be a one-shot kill. Oh, look at you. There we go. Build up a proper front line and we're good. The mace wielders typically come in um, and try to hit multiple, so as long as your front line is stable, uh, everything is going to be fine. That's not bad. Look at that. 10 rage stacks on him already. 
thanks to getting hit a couple of times. But he's well supported, so that's why he takes so little damage. In retaliation, we're just going to hit. Unfortunately, this guy has a lot of uh, guard, and we did not crit. So our 10 uh, stacks of rage didn't really mean much, but uh, as you can see, our collar helps us to heal up. And I'm using the bears always after they have taken damage so that I can maximize the healing uh, value of the colors. So this guy here has measured response, which is a problem, but it's only a problem if you attack him from the front. If you attack him from the back, all you get are a couple of nice rage stacks, thank you, and he can't really do much. What we're going to do is take uh, the heat uh, to this bear after he attacked, so that way the other one can also attack during the round. Kind of a bit of aggro juggling. almost uh, not seen this foot soldier here tell you what let's attack a normal human can walk through there a bear cannot so what I will say is we're just moving a, sli a slight bit back and that's about it None of the bears even remote, uh, remotely has a problem. We're going to use um, the, the fragility on this guy as long as possible. From behind the guard is halved, so that's two nice crits and we're up to four sticks. Ten on these, six on these. Okay, cool. Not bad. Um, yeah, let's continue over here. Maybe we could, we find another target soon. Their front line is weakening. We're healing. You can see, although this bear has taken quite a few hits, hasn't really reduced his stats all too much. All right, that's a hit. We're building up rage with the Beastmaster himself. And the front line heals. So do both of these bears. At 20 stacks, if my recollection uh, is correct, we will fly into Berserk, which will double our damage intake but also our damage output. So as long as we can juggle the aggro well enough, that should not be a problem. A bit concerned with the tacticians down there. They could flank us, so I don't like that. Might need to pull our other bears back to here so that we have a really solid phalanx. And we don't want to fight against their defenders because that's exactly what they want. They want frontline versus frontline and then use the DPS in order to come in. We want to kill their tech, uh, tacticians because they are typically the ones that deal most of the damage as you can see. Hits for 200, that's nasty. Still got more reinforcements incoming. This is not going to be a fun fight. I 
I played with a larger warband for some time and the game always takes some time before it reduces the warbands. So we're going to see how long we can withstand the onslaught here. Yeah, that's exactly what I hope would not happen. Already down to willpower. Good. We're taking we're definitely taking a lot of damage now. We're up against 32 enemies. That's a massive amount. Good, this guy will die, for sure. Oh, because we were engaged. Hmm. Yeah, that wasn't clever. Good, we'll need to close the rings here. Even if we take a couple of attacks of opportunity, but this here definitely needs to be closed. All right, uh, disengage. Well, let's get this guy started. Taking a lot of damage here. Can't move through the tree. This tactician needs to die. We're having a slight opening here, that was not a perfect positioning. Good, lots of damage happening on our front line, but we're still standing strong, so we're okay. Uh, let's disengage on this side. Moves up, kills this guy, and regains 255 hit points. Need to make sure that we're not surrounded, that's the important bit. Because once we're surrounded, you can see even uh, even bears can take a bit of damage. This guy has not attacked during the round, so that's good. Minimizing some of the damage in uh, that it would be incoming. And if we position ourselves 
here. Then no one can come uh, come in and we're building kind of a little phalanx here. Thankfully our color heals us yet again. Good, let's disengage from the ones that are just dealing a lot of damage to us and instead hit this guy. I was really hoping for crit. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Good. We're a bit on our back foot now, specifically against so many enemies. We need to further contract so that uh, the number of enemies that can attack us at the same time are going to go down and not up. But they brought pikemen and quite a few enemies, actually. Uh, that's a solid kill. And we are minimizing their ability to come through. I can still move a little bit further to the north. I think that's fair. Then this bear can move in. Good. And that'll close the ranks here. This flank is one that potentially will take the most heat, but thankfully we do have that tree. That's going to help give us cover. Oh boy, this is going to be a difficult fight. I said crits. 14 stakes, 10, 22 here. This bear is going to maul them. 20 stacks here. I was wrong, by the way. Apparently, 20 stacks do not let you fly into Berserk. But low hit points for sure would. Yeah, the bears are now supporting each other. That's what I wanted to get out of it. I haven't done too much of an opening here. Luckily, the enemy doesn't seem to have a lot of ranged DPS. Mind you, almost none. So our ranger should be fine. Just can't take any more hits. Elsewise, this challenge will be over relatively soon. And it's just one more round of reinforcements. But boy, that's a lot of enemies. I wonder how am I going to do that with the other challenges. I think I need to dial down the enemy peck size numbers. I mean, this is completely crazy, ludicrous amounts of enemies. Luckily, at some point, the number of enemies stops.
stops mattering because uh, they can't all reach the front line, right? couple of good hits here but listen we made it until uh, until that far so for me that's already an achievement in itself does he have strike back no he does not but it's also very unlikely that we're going to kill him in just one go. Um, might as well give it a try and then move uh, move back. Ah, that's some okay damage. Heals up, <clears throat> back to 2,000. Need to close the ranks here. That lieutenant deals a lot of damage. Yeah, now we're at the point where they can no longer really engage us on all fronts with every single one of them. The tighter our formation, the better, because then we don't have so much front line. Disconnect, or disengage rather. Now we're supported. Great hit. Up to 20 stacks, that's fantastic. Good. Now this bear here suffers, has suffered the most damage. Two thousand. This flank and this flank here, I'll predict, will be the ones uh, that have the most problems. Wow, he hits his own friend. That's great, lovely. Two hundred points of damage. Not so lovely though. question is, or remains, will that phalanx stay strong? Alright, minimizing some damage, hopefully by killing them in one go. Great hit. Fantastic. As long as none of uh, these flying bayonets are hitting the Beastmaster, we should be okay. And this white bear definitely needs some healing. Good, we're building up rage stacks. They continue to be built up even after 20. Good, this here closes the rings. One 
one hit. <clears throat> two hits. And we're at 22 rage sticks already. Getting a foot soldier almost down to... Uh, almost down to no uh, hit points. We went through all of the guard, which is fantastic. Okay, now it's frontline against frontline. We just need to get these tacticians. Should have pos potentially positioned ourselves here so that we could even heal ourselves. Unfortunately, first aid doesn't really work on yourself. It's one of those situations where you desperately would need it, right? Used to attack command. Oh, stupid me. No one can reach the technician uh, technician there. Ah, uh, my bad. That was a misplay. Good hit. And all of them heal for 128. Could have potentially hit that tactician over there, maybe killed it, but we might be able to switch targets with one of these bears, this one here in particular. Okay, well, that's good enough. Just gotta be careful of these defenders with the swords because they do have measured response and we don't want uh, our bears to take more damage than they need. Rather, take down the others. Good, 33 enemies. Oh, well, it's going to be a grind. We need to get the tacticians down first. Disengage, and I'd rather kill that foot soldier here. Nice, good hit. So hit point assessment. The lowest at the moment is this white bear here. I think we're fine. I mean, for now. Unfortunately, there isn't any ability to let them retaliate automatically. Couple of zealous defenders. All of these do have measured response, so super careful with them. Disconnect. This is one of them, by the way. But we are instead killing his friend. Down to 31. Every single kill counts. I think we can kill this guy here. Down pretty far. There could also be a little bit of a strategy 
in terms of uh, letting them stand at the front line because then they basically waste turns of others well, it's maybe not too bad Good, we're building up more rage stacks, more healing, back to almost 2,000. The bear front line just stands absolutely firm. And I can uh, with confidence say, even though some of the other animals uh, at level 14 might have uh, single attacks that are higher, uh, being able to hit for that amount of damage that the bears can do is absolutely crazy. I mean, look at this here as an example, right? Four fifty as a crit. That's a pretty damn good hit. And crit. Yeah, this bear here has the biggest problems at the moment. But we may just let him take his turn. Good hit. Almost got the defender down. And we're healing all the way back up to 1800. We're going to get some extra healing once it's the Beastmaster's turn again. And then we got first aid if needed. I'm very careful with our uh, Valor points at the moment. Tactician can't really do much. Normal defender, normal phalanx soldier. No, 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 we're not going to open a flank here. That was the weakest hit ever. But the difference is we are healing and they are not. Oh boy, that's going to be a long fight. Down to 30 enemies. Biggest problem is their front line. And this is one of uh, the measured response defenders. Not bad that we waited because getting these guys down is a bit of a difficult journey. And having the ability to actually hit them without retaliation, super helpful. Their positioning is whack. No way, other way of uh, saying it because uh, they just wasted one spot here. This guy can't do anything thanks to our little bit of um, a um, stepped position. Okay, this was a clever positioning because they do have reach on the spears. Six hundred, seven hundred. I think we're just going to heal over here. But before we do anything, let's start by killing this guy. Tacticians are the biggest offender for us.
Good, and we're healing every single one of these guys. Good, all of the spearmen already don't know what's going on and we're down to 29 enemies. I'm going to use this window of opportunity to just head out, get a little bit of an opening. Oh, we do have Berserk now. Oh boy. Berserk appears to be random at some point. 28 stacks already. We got a lot of stacks on uh, some of uh, these bears. 24 down here. Good, let's hit this guy. Good hit. Fantastic. Almost got him down. We're healing ourselves up. 28 enemies. Phalanx is still holding. Biggest problem potentially up here with the white bear. Disconnect. Don't want to get retali retaliatory attacks. And instead. Fragility into hopefully a single kill. Nah. Took some more damage in return. That's unfortunate. Back into uh, back in line. A lot of damage for not a lot of output. Net net. The healing and the damage that we took in that turn just barely offset each other. Good part about the spearmen is their biggest threat, the destabilization, doesn't really mean a lot uh, to us. Next bear starts to fly into a rage. Not very surprising. The bears at the front line here are taking way more punishment. I think I need to be more defensive, if that makes sense. Just not engage uh, or take extra attacks of opportunity. Uh, the problem here is we're now in rage, so that means 100%. Uh, more damage taken, but also 100% more damage dealt. Good, almost got through that foot soldier. That's okay. This white bear up here is the record holder, 28 uh, sticks of uh, rage. Ah, he's now dethroned 30 sticks of rage. 32 even, wow. Not a single target, but we could attack very well. Um, 
Let me position myself here so that we're supporting all of these guys. Kill that foot soldier. We have a tactician. Yep, he's hiding there. Can't afford to hit our own guy. That's a kill on the tactician, uh, tacticianer. And we're healing our front line to the north. And every single one gets another healing. Okay, that was not clever. That tacticianer will die in a brink of a moment. The bear will completely tear him apart. If we attack, that's going to be an issue because we do have measured response here. Can we uh, afford it? Potentially, we're still okay. Yep, 100. And another 100. All right, it's kind of a fair exchange. But you can see why these guys are becoming an issue over time. Luckily the healing uh, colors are so so powerful. Absolutely absolutely fantastic. Down to 27 I need to take a short break and look after my uh, small one. Alright back time for some more carnage. It's a new round and that means we are going for the tacticians first. Single hit and the guy learned his lesson, hopefully. Low hit points, 1600 at the moment. Good, the spear is enraged, so we're going to see huge crits 350. That's not bad. Twenty-five enemies. Ah, this guy is taking a lot of damage. This foot soldier will kill himself next round thanks to the continuous bleeding. And that's okay. Spread out the damage. That's the best uh, that they can do for us. It's really in our favor. Alright, this bear here is enraged. Thousand five hundred as a crit? Holy! Well, we're at 42 rage stay. <laughs> okay, apparently bears can be damage dealers as well. Bears always have been OP, but apparently it became uh, became a meme no uh, nowadays. Uh, that's a tough position. Can't let anyone get in here. Mainly because from here you could reach the Beastmaster, and that's the one thing that I cannot allow. There's another kill, and we're directly going back. Sir. 
Might as well take the Beastmaster's turn now so that these two bears can completely flail the lieutenant. I'm worried we could be a we could be attacked from here. Yep, crits for 1,800 seems legit. Great hit. Um, yeah, I think you need mo most of the healing at this point. This here is not optimal because someone with a ranged weapon could come in here. Ah, this lieutenant goes next, so I think we're going to hide down here. That's out of range for this corner and potentially out of range from there as well. Okay, everybody heals up. In terms of rage sticks, I think the guy with the white beer here with 46 is reigning supreme. He's also in a berserk rage, 1600 crit, that is absurd for any animal companion. Takes a lot of damage though, as well. All right, got these guys here and a white bear up here. Well, thanks to the massive amount of uh, rage stacks, all of them are beginning to hit like a truck. Careful with the lieutenants and the spearmen. Those are the only ones that can really endanger us at this point. Ah, uh, the spear is down to half of his hit points. Okay. Alright, one. And kill. Fantastic. Very good. Frontline closes. These guys are good. We just need to make sure that this frontline here dies very, very soon. <coughs> Crit for 800. Not the massive 1500, uh, but still not bad. I will just go a little bit further to here, mainly to prevent anyone from stepping in too close. This guy killed himself. <coughs> Thanks to bleeding. I think we should let this guy go. Normal hits for 800. Wow. Heals back up. This is the new DPS bear. Down to 16 enemies. Unless we're messing it up like big time, I think that we could even win this.
All right, finally this guy also decided to go berserk. The entire lower flank now is, has gone berserk. All right, <laughs> apparently not only the front line, every bear is now going berserk. We got two non-berserkers, which are keep uh, holding the front up here. Funny. Kill into kill. Into helping the front line. Into a little bit back. And everybody gets healed on top of it. Great. Good, we can afford to disconnect, or disengage rather. And instead, uh, kill one of the Phalanx guys. We're down to 13. Now all there is left to do is get all of these defenders down. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Couple of the spear, uh, spearmen as well, and of course a couple of these lieutenants. Unfortunately, no great target for him to attack. So, might as well just go for it. They are trading about even. But we are healing, they are not, so that's the advantage. And they can't at the moment, or well, I don't think that they at this point can muster enough people to get down the bears. The one thing that they could have done was go for the Beastmaster or really focus on a single bear. But I think that this train has long passed. We can now start to open up this side and begin to collapse with a flank. Which is going to be interesting. Might as well weaken him with fragility. Because we're taking a lot of damage as well. Oh yeah, but 58 stacks of rage are just tearing through him like hot white sulfur. Uh, or white phosphor, rather. And they have no counterplay for that. None at all. Disconnect and 
That's another one down. Okay, this bear here is taking all of the heat now. Not surprising. But he's losing a lot of health. We want to get that defender down next, so disengage. Into normal hits. That was actually a really good turn. And now it's a matter of now we can't we can't leave that flank open. Good. Two attacks against that defender. One was enough to already get him down. Oh, they took our healing. Mm. Never mind. Down to almost a fair fight, 7 versus 9, and one of our bears is in dire straits. I think this is one of those situations where I'm just going to call the clock and he's healing up because that's the best we can do. Solid thousand points of damage. Unbelievable. Okay, we're extending our footprint to over here. And now we can move that bear to here so that we are slowly but surely collapsing. Just making sure no one from behind. Okay, cool. That bear here is taking such an amount of punishment. I think we're just directly going for the AOE damage dealers, because why not? Come on, crit. There we go, that's my boy. And now we're in their back. And there's the retaliation. We trade uh, one for one, but it's not a pound for pound fight. The bears are undoubtedly more sturdy. There we go. There we go. Good, we're down to six, but also uh, six enemies, but also, the bears are taking a bit of a beating, down to a thousand hit points. There we go. That's my boy. Healing the front line. And 
more regeneration. Beastmaster plus a bear plus the regeneration collar and you can see they can last for ages. A little bit of damage back, that's fine. As long as he's not enraging, we're good. Good. White force for a bear. Goes in and hits for 800. Good, we're binding both of them up here because I don't want any sneaky, sneaky stuff. Nice. And we're slowly but surely getting the galvan uh, galvanizing buff. Still trading pound for pound. Better for us. Or still trading blow for blow, rather. Good hits. Fabulous hits. They can't move because they are engaged in melee. Oh, so good. 50 stacks, 38, 64 stacks, holy. That's a lot, not a single bear died uh, this fight but look at the absolute carnage around um, around this area good we're letting the last one run well guys that's it that's the that's the official showcase that bears are incredibly overpowered if you play them right and if you skill them right hope that you enjoyed what you've seen uh, we took six bears and we fought it was definitely more than 31 uh, human remains at um, the peak it was around 40 45 enemies i uh, i would say so we did very very well and i consider this challenge to be one uh, let's see how the other animal challenges are going to go because that's now going to become gradually more difficult. Thanks for watching guys and as always see you in the next episode. Bye bye.